I get it. Netflix is extremely popular. The online video-on-demand service has lots of shows, lots of movies, and all of this for only $9.99 a month for the basic plan. It has really shaken up the concept of pay TV in Australia. Towards the end of 2016, I noticed that most of my students, and some of my colleagues, were talking about the latest show that they had watched on Netflix. Shows like House of Cards, Orange is the New Black, Stranger Things, and Black Mirror. One of my students informed me that I could sign up for a free one-month trial, and recommended that I watch Stranger Things, so I followed his advice and signed up that afternoon. A couple of hours before going to bed, I sat down and watched the first couple of episodes of Stranger Things. It was okay, but wasn't my cup of tea. Over the next couple of weeks, my son and I watched a number of movies and TV shows that we could both enjoy. In the evenings, after he had gone to bed, I would watch shows like Narcos and Vikings. I soon realised the first problem with Netflix. There was too much to watch. I was spoilt for choice. Because there were so many shows to watch, and only a limited time in the day to watch them, I started to get irritated. It's a funny thing to say, but I really found it difficult to decide what to watch. I was chopping and changing between shows, and very rarely watching the same thing. The second problem with Netflix is the whole concept of binge-watching. This term has only really come into use in the last few years or so. It happened around 2013, when Netflix started releasing entire seasons of its TV series. Now, as I see it, there are very few positive outcomes of binge-watching, but many negative ones. I suppose the biggest positive is that viewers have the freedom to watch as little or as many of the episodes as they like. If they wish to view the entire series in one or two days, they are free to do so. But with this comes a lot of negatives. 1. Mental and Physical Health There has been some research that shows that binge-watching is correlated with depression, loneliness, and obesity. When you think about it, binge-watching is very antisocial. You're sitting at home, generally by yourself, watching a fictional story. When I was a lad, we used to go over to friends' houses, or they'd come over to mine, and we'd watch a movie, or our favourite TV show, or play a board game. It was a social occasion. Binge-watching is quite the opposite. 2. Impatience Gone are the days where we must wait a week to watch the next episode of our favourite TV show, at least on Netflix. Children are learning to have everything on demand. Instant gratification is the new norm. Patience was once considered a virtue, but now children can watch any cartoon, play any game, and talk with any of their friends at the press of a button. Historically speaking, patience was a way of accepting one's lack of control over the world. You had to wait for things in order to reap the benefits. Higher intelligence is associated with a more future-focused tendency. Patient people tend to have higher cognitive capacity. 3. Less pleasure we actually derive a lot of pleasure from simply anticipating good things. By having to wait a week until we watch the next episode of our favourite TV show, it makes it feel all that much better than if we were able to watch it immediately. It's the same with everything else in life. Back in the day, when we had to grow our own crops and make our own bread, it tasted so much better than, say, the 85-cent loaf of bread we buy now from the supermarket and consume immediately. It's much easier to appreciate something when we have to work for it, or wait for it. 4. Anticipation and Discussion When TV shows were released on a weekly schedule, it gave people a chance to anticipate and talk about future episodes. Even with the internet, people enjoy contributing to forums and blogs, discussing the latest episode, or predicting future events within the show. With the advent of binge-watching, a lot of these discussions have simply disappeared. The social value of television has been eroded with the likes of Netflix. 5. Wasting time Just as I stated in my last video, why I deleted Path of Exile 3.0, watching too much TV is a waste of my life. Apart from a little bit of fleeting pleasure, it doesn't really benefit me in any significant way. There are so many other things to do in life, things that I can do to improve myself, or contribute to society. Why would I want to wallow my life away in front of a computer screen or tablet? Another thought, just remember that all of the TV shows that you watch are the creation of another human being. That person used their imagination to create a fictional work. Why is it that we are so obsessed to get to the end of a TV series, when it is simply the imaginary work of another person? 
Why don't we go out and create our own imaginary story? Surely that would be much more fulfilling. Anyway, Netflix was not for me. I'm not saying it's a bad service, but it certainly needs to be consumed in moderation. I found it to be too disruptive in my life, so I had no option but to cancel the service. There are much more rewarding things that I can do with my time. Goodbye Netflix, I must leave you now. I'm sorry, but there is no other way.